It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shape West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at Eloise Hughes Smith. In the Huntington neighborhood of Westmoreland, drivers ply streets named Eloise, Lucian, Vinson, and Hughes. Without knowing these names are tied to one of the world's great tragedies. Eloise Street is named for Mary Eloise Hughes, born to Belle Vinson, a scion of a political dynasty, and James A. Hughes, a West Virginia congressman. At age 18, Eloise made her societal debut, where she met her husband Lucian Smith of Morgantown, also from a wealthy family. They married within months and honeymooned in Egypt, the Middle East, and Europe, where Eloise learned she was pregnant. They decided to return home, and in Cherbourg, France, they booked tickets on the ill-fated RMS Titanic. On the tragic night of the ship's sinking, Lucian put Eloise into lifeboat number six, alongside a countess, Lady Nancy Astor, and the unsinkable Molly Brown. Eloise would never see Lucian again. Returning to Huntington, Eloise gave birth to their son Lucian II. Perhaps seeking closure for the tragedy, she married fellow Titanic survivor Robert W. Daniel of Richmond, Virginia, two years later, but the marriage lasted only nine years. Eloise spent the rest of her life speaking and writing about the Titanic, and her accounts are still used as a source for books, films, and documentaries. Back in Westmoreland, Vincent and Hughes Streets intersect two blocks from Vincent Middle School, but Eloise and Lucian Streets run parallel as if to reflect their sad fate in life, forever separated and never to cross paths again. <laughs>